Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make a column method calculator on Visual Basic 2008. You want to open a standard DXE and call it column method. Okay, you've got your basic form up here. Now, form 1 at the top looks very unprofessional, so you're going to change the text to a column method calculator. Or oh, just column method. Okay, now these maximize and minimize buttons are here for no reason, we don't need them. So, and the minimize box bit, change that to false, and the same for the maximize bo box bit, false. Show icon, because we haven't got a decent icon, we're going to change that to false. Okay, now we're going to want to add a command button to the form that will calculate all the values. So add that, and you want to change the caption to calculate, and the button name shall be um, command calculate. You will also want to add a bu another button. And this one shall be called command clear all or command clear. Okay. Now you want to add a few text boxes where the values will be displayed. So add a pretty long text box and change the text align to the right. Make two copies of this text box. And then drag them to, to the place you want them to be. Because this is a column method, we'll make it look like a column method. So you want to go to Visual Basic Power Packs and select Line Shape. Once you've done that, it will appear diagonally, but you want to make it nice and straight. Then move that up. And now you want to uh, change the names. Top one shall be txt1, the first value, because that makes it easier in when we do the coding. Second one will be txt2, and the last one will be txt answer. And then we'll add a final text box, which shall be next to the second one down, very small. That one, we don't need to change the text in line, but we can change the no name to txt method. Okay. Okay. Now we want to add the code to make this do what we want it to do. So double click on the calculate button, command calculate, and you have the calculate click. So we're going to type in here, if text method dot text equals plus then um, t 
text answer dot text equals VAL which is value text one Then yeah. paste it in again. Then times, which is X, then asterisk here. Then basically divide to slash then double click on the clear all button. Change and add txt one dot text equals nothing. Txt two dot text equals nothing. Txt method dot text equals nothing and tx txt answer dot text equals nothing okay now that's all the code done now we shall we shall debug it so that will click on start debugging okay I'm gonna do six plus four Calculate and it shall display the answer there, like a normal color method would. Six times six. Now you will type in x, but you make sure you have to you have to put the asterisk in the code because computer recognizes that as times. Sixty-seven <laughs> divided by forty-five. We'll get a funny answer here. Yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, I've done everything there. So, well, that's it really. Thanks for watching. Um, please comment, rate, and rate, <laughs> rate, rate, subscribe, and enjoy.